Hi guys, it's Elise from The Paint and Brushing Co. I'm here today with this piece that I have been working on the past a few days and I'm finally up to a stage where I'm really happy with it and I'm ready to seal it. So this piece started off as your typical orange pine piece. It was then painted in Le Central Botanics Grage, which I hated it. And then I painted it in linen and I hated it. So I added some crackle and I still hated it. And now I'm back to what I originally thought I should have done is I've now painted it in the beautiful olive green, which I've used before. Um, a stunning country um, green that's just perfect for this piece. It's a little kitchen hutch. I will tilt it up so you can see. So it has three shelves along with um, the pegs at the base of it. So, I'll tip it up like that. So let me tilt our camera up a little bit. There we go. So that's our piece. Um, so it's got the olive green on it. It's been distressed. You can see some of the uh, greys is showing through and some of the linen is showing through. Um, it's just had a wipe. That's why it's a bit shiny. I have also added a little bit and it's not a lot but I have added some crackle so let me try and get that there you go can you see that crackle there now normally crackle you actually um, it looks best when it's applied over say a white or a different color and then you put your crackle on and then your final color um, and that's generally the best way to get to get that beautiful crackle really really showing up um, I actually decided that I didn't want it super, super obvious. So that's why it's over over the green. So I did the first coat of green, um, the crackle, and then the olive again, which and it's almost an instantaneous product. So it shows the crackle straight away. So it's not super heavy and I've only really got it on the sides and there's a couple of little spots shining through. Today, I'm sealing this with a liquid wax. This is Lessential Botanics Liquid Wax. It's a beautiful, beautiful wax. Um, as all products, eco-friendly, fog-free, the works. Um, it smells a bit different to the normal wax, but it's really, really nice to use. Um, I've only used it a couple of times, and I'm kicking myself that I didn't use it earlier because I actually really, really love it. So I've just got the clear. It looks white in the bottle, but it does go on and dry clear. Um, so I'll just show you this one. So this is painted in liquid carbon. This is that horse head that I popped up the other day. Painted in liquid carbon and this has actually been sealed with the black liquid wax. Because I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like and it's just deepened that black beautifully. It's dried really quite quickly. It doesn't feel waxy. Um, so I just brushed it on, same process as what I'm doing today. Brush it on, wiped it off super super easy it doesn't feel waxy it feels like it's dried really quickly and it's beautiful all right so what you'll need is you can use a cloth or a brush to apply this i'm going to use a brush just because i've got all those little corners and crevices it just makes it a little bit easier i've also got myself a lint-free cloth same as normal so you'll actually find it's easier to pop your liquid wax into a container. So I've just got an old container here that I'm going to use. I'm trying to balance that there. I've just got my regular clear wax brush. You guys know that I have a different wax brush for each color wax. This is just my regular clear wax. I've got no worries with that at all. So give my bottle a bit of a shake. You will find it's quite a thick consistency. Um, but that's okay. All right, so I've given it a shake. This is my brand new bottle. I haven't used the clear before. So I'm gonna pour it in here. Make sure I'm in a spot where you can see. Can you see how thick that is? It is very thick. So I'm not gonna need a lot. That's probably going to be more than enough. So I'm gonna take my, going to dip it in my wax. I don't need a lot on my brush. I really don't need much at all. That's probably too much to begin with anyway. We'll just build it up. Um, you can, of course, like any of the other waxes, you can build your layers with different colours if desired. I'm just going to climb over this uh, jungle gym of toys that is a toddler. 
So wax on my brush and it's really, really easy. All you're doing is you're gonna wipe that on. Brush it on just like you would any other wax. So you can see it's white, but it's going on clear. And I'm just gonna wipe that on. And it really is, it's a wipe on, wipe off motion, like putting moisturizer on your face. You just rub it in until you're happy with it. So, you see how it's darkening the paint a little bit? The paint will go a bit darker and that's normal. Um, if you wanna get an idea for the color your paint will go when, when you apply top coat, any of top coat wax or top coat, even the hemp oil, hemp infusion oil. Um, run a damp cloth over it first and then you'll get a good feel for it. So look at that. And it's making that, those little peaks of timber really shine and sparkle as well. Yeah, don't stress, make sure I don't lose it. Don't stress too much if you're not getting every section covered with your brush. When you rub over and buff it with your cloth in a second, you will fill all those spots in quite easily. So, and it's really just as easy as this. Pop my brush down. So clean lint free cloth, this is a brand new one. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold onto that cause I'm gonna lose it. Is give it a good whack. And you can see there's a bit of dust in that coming off as well. I sanded this and gave it a very, very, very quick wipe. So it's definitely not as clean as what I'd usually have it. Now, are we still in picture there? Well, I am blocking the sun a little bit. I do apologize. So all I'm doing is just rubbing this. I'm not going overly heavy. I'm just gonna pull it out a bit more. I'm not going overly heavy here. It's just enough that I'm removing any excess and it's gonna give it that beautiful shine and luster that you like with a traditional wax. So it's very, very, very easy to use. I can still see a little bit of that crackle shining through, not a lot, but a little bit, which is all I wanted. I definitely did not want a lot of the crackle shining through. Of course, it would be more obvious if I applied it over the white. And that's how it's done. It feels a little bit waxy, but as that dries, that feeling uh, will go away. So, I might actually turn this. Let's do the top of it for you so you can really see it. Um, so the top, you can see these little patches here. That's where the crackle is underneath the white. So this, I think all ups had nearly six layers of paint uh, plus a couple of coats of crackle. So that's what these little dark patches are. So wipe it on. You can, of course, use a cloth. You don't have to use the brush if you don't want to. Um, but I just find personally the brush just makes it that little bit easier. So... Now you can see I am putting that on quite thick. I'm just going to turn the sides to make it a bit easier for myself. And just keep wiping it on. Should I get it on that bottom? Oops, push that out of the road. It doesn't really matter which direction you push in and you maneuver it around you. That honestly doesn't matter. I'm going in spirals now. It's really just up to you what you want to do. This is my traditional wax brush, which you can find um, on my website. It is my uh, most popular wax brush. And it's a beautiful all-rounder. And it just gets into these crevices really easily. So cloth again. And just start rubbing it. And all you're doing is you're just buffing it. You can go in circle, go up and down. You can do pretty much anything you like. Whatever works for you and whatever's easiest is fine. So I'm going to lose my board. Move forward a little bit just so it makes it a bit easier to get across that base. So can you see how down here it's still quite streaky because the wax hasn't been buffed. Whereas down here it's nice and smooth. It feels absolutely gloriously gorgeous. And there we go. That's liquid wax. It really is this easy. It's an amazing product that is definitely underutilized. And I highly recommend you give it a go. <laughs> See you guys.